beauty. This beautiful flower, my lovely spotted orchid, smudges the air with soft fragrance in winter, transporting to warm sunny beach, tropical ocean melting on shimmering skin, an amazement of nature captured in botan botanical cross-culture care. In history, women were bred for certain beauty, to please kings in their castles and harems, horses for speed, dogs to win the prize, felines to esteem, state fair tomatoes and apple pies. Now food is in question. Companies in relentless quest to own the seeds, spoiling our earth with cultivated greed. Yet much of the franken fair is relatively tasteless. Now what's on today's menu to titillate our senses? Will humans be updated and rendered quite senseless? <laughs> Unlike the world, when you see summer on the trees and grasses, so lush and green, it's hard to believe soon it would become winter, so barren and bare. Such a wonderful world we live in, always resuscitating. Unlike the young man who fell in the street, I knelt down with others next to him and held my hands over to give the energy and call to him to awaken to tell him help is on the way. The EMTs, so fast and yet brutal, turn him quickly, give him the mask of air, and pump his chest so fiercely hard to cause his body to ripple like a bubbling stream. To no avail, as he had decided twas better to leave his emaciated shell of a body behind. Hard to believe he rose before me, this young man, would not be like the world of green grasses and trees and seasons, always resuscitating. A little different. On needing to be cuddled. <laughs> Don't we all? Here's a, here's a picture of the dog. Uh, <coughs> I must have been a Morgan dog in a past life. The kind with the big floppy ears and soulful commiseration eyes. The eyes made of big black button sewn over pieces of soft brown and white felt. Remember those? They have a big nose with a squeaker in it. And um, that doesn't work so well after a while, but they are always ready to be cuddled, especially at night, always before falling off to sleep. I would cuddle my blue Morgan dog which eventually turned gray and fraying and a bit, um, and got a bit hairless and wet because I would always slobber all over it and suck it on its ears and tail and drool on it while I was sleeping when I was a little kid. I would use it for a pillow. In fact, it got pretty raggy from being dragged all over the house and off to the park or to grandma's house. One day, my mother got it away from me and right before my eyes, she cut it open up the belly with the big black and silver sewing scissors. She pulled out the insides and threw them in the garbage. Then she took the soggy plastic squeaker out and threw that away too. I screamed the whole time. I screamed, um, screamed to watch my, the death of my friend. Maybe it was because I screamed so much that she rolled up the dead body, the skin. Rolled it up and wrapped it in a piece of old Christmas green Christmas paper. Then she put it in the top dresser drawer. Sometimes I'd go to that dresser and climb up on the chair to look inside and see if it was still there. Once while my mom was out at the grocery store, I took it out of the drawer and untied it. I untied the string and unrolled the paper. I rolled it back up fast because it was awful and smelled bad. Much later, I found it in the drawer still and took it out and washed it. I stuffed it with fresh quilt batting and sewed it back together. My little Frankenstein. Aww. Aww. Beautiful. Thank you.